hey guys, there comes a time, once every couple months, where a leak video is so absolutely important and game breaking that it's must know information. And this is one of those days. You guys will see, but holy cow, is this a big deal. Now, what you are seeing on the screen is the first glimpse of the brand new, coming quite soon, limited hero. Now, we have some event information, a full kit, skin, and just hero breakdown in general. So, it's going to be hype really, really quickly before the rest of the video. Make sure to like and subscribe to help me out. It really does help a ton. And if you want to see more content like this, make sure to support the channel. Another thing is I will be having a birthday stream on the 26th of August. If you would like to be there, it will be between 12 p.m. and 12 a.m. Uh, EST. So it's going to be like 12 hours of straight streaming. We're going to have tons of guests. It's going to be a lot of fun if you want to stop by. And also big, big thank you to the leakers for this one. Uh, Erasus, Panther, T, Rukanji. Big, big thanks to them. And let's get back to the video. Now, what you see on the screen is the event graphics for the brand new limited hero, Kirigiri. Kirigiri will be a limited 250 summon hero that will be alongside Esme and is coming in around two months is what we have projected. It's going to be this current update, which is delayed. But when that update goes through, Kirigiri will be coming on the update after. So two updates from now, probably a month to two months is the guess. Obviously things can change. But that is the guess. And Kirigiri will be number one, the next limited hero. So before Lust. And two, absolutely freaking broken. Now before I get into the kit, as you can see here, we got the whole ass graphic for you guys. Very nicely put together. We're going to talk about the skin. So the skin most likely will be part of the event. And... We don't really have that much info in the event, I'll be completely honest, because it's still a couple updates out. But we have a skin here that you can see. I don't know how it will be obtained, but when I get that info, definitely will let that be known. But the fact that he has a skin already is kind of crazy. He will also most likely have a very good exclusive artifact, but we do not have information on that yet. So just keep that in mind. Typical stuff will be in the shop. The artifact, I mean. But like, the art is beautiful. I absolutely, absolutely adore this art. It's amazing. But let's get into the kit, okay? Let's get into why this is such a big deal. And that's mostly because this character is freaking broken as hell. Now, two things. This is an older graphic because of what I sent to R-Type. R-Type made this graphic. Big, 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 big thank you to R-Type. This is an amazing job. He made a bunch of these graphics for some really, really crazy heroes that I will be making videos on very shortly. Aluin 2.0, we got another inspiration hero, but it's constant, doesn't need an alt. We have uh, a bunch of more banners, which will be after the update and then the next update, all of that stuff. That stuff will probably be a bit delayed just because I know people are a little uneasy about the update thing. So I will just kind of chill on that. But this is such a big deal, okay? Half Demon Warrior. With some editing magic, boom, Kirigiri. And then right down here, I will put what he looks like. This is just what our type put because at the time we didn't have any information. So number one, the base stats. And the base stats are absurd. If you look here, 27,000 HP. Do you know how crazy that is for a fighter? For context, Jira has by far the highest HP in the game. It is not close. And she has 3,100. If I go over to Abomination and I look at his HP, he has 3,000, 30,000, sorry. 27,000 is really close to that. So he's going to be possible, possible used as a tank, which is crazy. What's even crazier is look at this attack. It's not a real attack number. This is not real. It's not allowed. You know, like, <laughs> it's, that's crazy. Like, Jira has 6,000, for example. This blows it out of the water. You know, something like Arrogance has 5,200. This blows that out of the water. The closest thing this is to is the best fighter in the game by far, Ardea. Ardea has 7,976. This one is tied for Ardea. This is the 
this is tied for the highest attack in the game. That is insane. I cannot understate that. Now, the defense 2000 is pretty typical. Attack interval 3.2 is very strange. He's going to be slightly slower than the average fighter, but still not that slow. I mean, for example, Ardia has 2.4 seconds. He will have 3.2, but obviously you could lower it with attack speed. Magic resistance is pretty typical. Attack speed, exactly the same. His cost is 17, not too out of the ordinary. Maxed rage is 900. It actually goes down to 700 or 600. I don't fully remember. I know I have like some other info things, but those are very late. So, you know, it, it's scuffed, right? But, uh, you know, the base stats are crazy. Okay, th that's it. But let's get into the kit. Now, the kit's a bit confusing, but let me try to break it down for you guys. So, number one, it is a Nightmare Watcher unit. So, clearly, they're trying to make Watchers a lot better. I've been saying this for a while. They're going to make Watchers better. They buffed Laia. They added Ingrid. Watchers are getting better. You know, Lucius, all of this stuff. And then he's also a Nightmare unit, which really, really, really helps for any type of fighters. And he is a fighter. He's legendary, obviously. Exclusive hero. Limited. That sort of thing. Now his talent is can launch sweeping strikes at the farthest enemy within the ultimate's range. By the way, the ultimate range is freaking massive. Here's the ultimate range on the screen. I will put it somewhere uh, in post editing. It's freaking massive. It's a vortex range of an alt, which is crazy. And then he strikes at them within the ultimate's range every 250 seconds, so every like four minutes. Each time basic attack deals damage, it reduces the cooldown of sweeping strike by a certain amount of seconds. We do not have the information. Some things are just not shown, uh, but it will go down from this time even lower. And keep in mind, things could change, so it could be even faster on actual release. The AOE damage of sweeping strike and question mark inflicts bleed. The additional damage ignores a certain amount of defense and dispels a buff. That's kind of interesting. He's going to be able to dispel buffs. They changed how Semra works, so maybe he will actually be a viable replacement for Lucius. Potentially, we will see. Potentially making Lust teams even better, because you don't have to run Lucius. You could just run this guy. Potentially. But we will have to see once again. He has multi-target attack, counter-attack. You know how it is. One tile range only, but that's okay. Now, he does normal damage to one enemy one time pretty basic stuff i can just kind of gloss over and then we have the manual the manual is really interesting and we've never seen anything like it but he sheathes the blade and prepares to parry which is not a thing in this game the next direct damage taken for 10 seconds so not damage over time or anything but like actually getting hit i don't think it matters if it's physical or magic damage upon parry immediately launches an extra sweeping strike at the farthest enemy in range if the parry is triggered within a certain amount of seconds of entering the state, it launches question mark instead. So a full ability type thing is not in the kit. We do not have it, which is a little rough, but it's a okay. And then it launches that instead, right? Unable to use basic attack during the she's state, which ends after parry. Pretty basic stuff. So he enters the demon stance, parry stance, whatever the hell. Kind of meditates whatever the hell it doesn't matter and then when he gets hit he attacks really really strong and i assume sweeping sweeping strike is going to do ridiculous amounts of damage i mean look at this freaking attack right then we have flow state which is parrying during tranquil reflection aka the ultimate increases attack and crit damage for almost a minute that's a very long time <laughs> like that, I, there's no way that number is real if it's real when he releases that'll be crazy most likely will be a little less but that is really cool. Now we do have Swallow Counter right here, which is when Sweeping Strike and the other move that we don't know ends, there is a chance to immediately launch an identical strike in the opposite direction. This strike cannot trigger the effect again. So he'll hit in front and he'll hit behind, which is really cool. So uh, he'll hit both sides on a random chance. That's pretty interesting, right? Now, as usual, after reading the kit, we're going to talk about, you about the Awakenings before I talk about where I think he'll be good. You know, things like that. Now, we have Awaken 1. When launching a basic attack, additionally restores Rage and HP. We do not have a lot of self-sustainable uh, units. So if he can basically have a lifesteal, that's kind of crazy. And he also restores Rage. The Rage is going to be a little interesting because you're not going to want to spam his ult. You're going to want to time it properly. So keep that in mind. The A2 is plus 300 attack. Like he needed more attack. That is criminal, honestly. Like, 
<laughs> what the frick? Still tied with our Dia A2. Awaken 3 is within a certain amount of seconds after Sweeping Strike is activated, which I assume is just extra damage. Um, I'm sorry we don't have everything, but it's it's the best we got, right? Uh, we don't always have all the information immediately, but each direct time when Sweeping Strike is after a second... A certain amount of seconds after Sweeping Strike is activated, each direct damage one time equal to a certain amount of the direct damage. Uh, after question mark second activated, each direct damage dealt inflicts additional damage two times. So he basically hits twice, each time equal to amount of the direct damage. Pretty interesting there. Penetration plus 8% is ridiculously strong. Penetration essentially means they go through uh, damage sources a lot easier. And then the A5 is killing enemies during the ultimate, extends the ultimate, ultimate's duration by 3 seconds. This can be triggered up to 10 times. This one I don't fully understand, but, you know, maybe what this means is he hits something and then it keeps on hitting. I don't fully know. Once again, the leaks are a bit ambiguous and I'm not going to wait on making a video on this guy. Because why would I? not tell you guys about this just because some information is a bit ambiguous because we literally don't have it but like still i assume we're gonna see the true magnitude of this stuff obviously we'll have to see but the fact that this guy has these insane base stats and these insane 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 abilities and really cool synergy and uniqueness uh, i'm definitely going to pull for him i'm definitely going to save for him uh, even if we don't have everything, he has counterattack, he has multi-target attack, he is a fighter, a watch guard, which are two of the most meta things right now. You know, he dispels, apparently, uh, to be the second hero that dispels. You know, he does. He seems to do a ton of damage, and he has the same attack stat as Ardia. Obviously, he's not going to be meta in Guild Wars or anything, because he doesn't have extra range. But it's still kind of crazy, right? Like, I I'm really, I'm really looking forward to how this guy gets use where he gets used, and he, he, the promotional art looks sick, like, the event art looks amazing, they really need to make, like, an ad for this guy, because holy, is this sick, <laughs> so, just figured I would make a video for you guys, I know not everything is there, like I said, uh, but it's the best we could do, and I'm so excited for this guy, he looks really, really, really sick, I, I, I'm gonna really enjoy playing around with him. Tell me what you guys think of him. Are you gonna save for him? Are you not? Do you like him? Do you not? You know, that sort of thing. And I will have some more videos on some more cool heroes coming pretty soon, hopefully. Yeah, that's kind of everything I have you guys right now. New limited hero, new limited Zoro is really exciting and really, really hype. So stay tuned. Now, that's it for me. Thank you for watching and Destined signing out.